Hi guys, I've been asked to come along today to introduce um, a section on the Improvement Board agenda that um, uh, we hope you'll enjoy. It's about the amazing improvements that are happening at George Eliot, um, not least uh, those brilliant staff that, that are driving those improvements. We introduced some of these case studies during the NHS Change Day in October and created a Twitter storm of activity um, among staff and the general public, um, which was just spectacular. Tens of thousands of people um, uh, able to um, access those um, those tweets. Um, now, the, the, the real drive here uh, is very much about the staff at George Eliot and their persistence, their drive, their resourcefulness in terms of making improvements. What's happened during the crisis is um, that that state has almost become business as usual. They're now improving under their own steam. They've become the masters of their own universe. Um, and in giving them that permission, um, they are bigger and brighter um, than ever before. Um, so we are going to share a compilation of case studies with you. The, the brilliant comms team at George Eliot um, have pulled this together um, for you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're proud of your guys. You should be. Um, they are amazing. Um, so just sit back for the next couple of minutes and, uh, and enjoy the show. Around Change Day, I shared our volunteering improvement story, which was the setting up of a voluntary driver service to deliver medication, equipment, supplies and belongings to patients during the pandemic. Hi, I'm Sharon and I'm the Shared Decision Making Facilitator in George Elliot Hospital. I've written the new Shared Decision Making Toolkit for use throughout the organisation. Shared Decision Making provides a framework which enables junior members of staff with no managerial experience to develop knowledge of leading whilst being supported throughout the processes they encounter. The toolkit provides guidance to junior staff with advice about managing their projects, helping aligning all their projects to strategic objectives, the correct way to conduct and document their meetings, and an introduction into networking with other councils and senior staff. Projects completed so far, a water fountain for patients in the physiodrim, department newsletters, your shielding but we miss you package, which was very well received by colleagues during the first lockdown. These name just a couple of the completed projects and I hope for very many more to come. As an alternative way to interact with patients, the George Elliot Hospital are now offering video consultations using the platform Attend Anywhere. To date, there are 22 live clinic waiting areas across eight different departments and over 150 healthcare professionals have registered to use this. Since the original go live, feedback has been mixed, majority of which has been positive. However, any constructive feedback we have received, we've used this to streamline the process and therefore better improve the experience for the patient. Whilst face-to-face -face is the preferred option, it has been noted on multiple occasions that this is an excellent alternative. With regards to next steps, we are looking to roll this out further and have currently created an additional 49 video clinic waiting areas that will be tested by key leads across different departments in the Trust. In terms of those involved, everyone is very enthusiastic to ensure that this is a continued success during these challenging times. As a result of the global pandemic, a team approach was taken to dealing with the health, well-being and welfare of George Elliott's staff and its volunteers. A whole range of people from across the Trust came together to develop, facilitate and support an offer to their colleagues at a time of crisis. This included delivering kind donations from approximately 170 benefactors across the Trust on a daily basis for three months. This teamwork paved the way forward under Gertie for nine projects to be born, including staff testing, EAP, engagement, maximising the volunteer offer and allocation of NHS funds. This work is now overseen by a virtual programme 
board which is held monthly and project level task and finish groups. It truly is a team effort to support our team. Due to COVID, we had to stop our face-to-face -face parent education sessions. So we decided to offer some virtual sessions on Zoom. These were advertised on our maternity Facebook page. The sessions are held weekly with a different topic each week. And we asked the women to suggest topics they'd like more information on. This meant that women and their partners could log in from home and have an interactive parenting education session where they can ask questions and relieve anxieties. Because their sessions were virtual, we found that some women who wouldn't normally attend because of childcare issues were able to attend and join in. We also had a dad session where dads and partners could join in and ask questions. Going forward, we'll be continuing the sessions and increasing the frequency. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Your guys are doing a superb job. Um, they are giving patients um, a, a great experience. They are ensuring that the care they deliver is safe and effective. Um, people are at the core of what we do in the NHS and it's our job um, to enable them to shine in, in this way. They need our support and our appreciation um, and, I, and I hope, I'm sure, you can give them that. Thank you.